Welcome back, everybody. This week, part two of finishing up the Pac-Man Lazy Susan. Let's get to it. One thing I'll give you a hint on if you decide to do this is go ahead and kind of preload your, um, you know, leave it enough there where you can drop it down in there. Um, but if you don't um, kind of preload it, like I've got it so where I can drop this once I put the glue on the edges I can just drop it down in there it's a lot more difficult to deal with so that's what I would suggest <laughs> I did use a um, white glue and that's just so that if I got squeeze out it'll dry clear since these are going to be clear and you'll never see it that's a trick that you can use when you're doing stuff on clear maple but there she goes and then um, I'll show you how to cut this off um, once this dries so we're gonna let it dry all right so I was editing this video and I was watching this section about cutting this off and since I did four of these things, um, I did them different every time to see which was the easiest um, and the safest and the best. So this is a pattern I made. So assume that your, your lamination is hanging over. Go ahead and cut it off to where you know it's not all the way over here. But you don't necessarily have to, but flip, flip the... Um, piece upside down so that you're on the flat part then come and make a line okay then take a square and follow that line down and then take your knife and make a cut line okay and make it pretty deep so that you got something to follow and then make it up there then what you can do is you can come back with a I use this just the flush cut saw. Come in there and line it up and then just start start cutting and you follow that line all the way down. It'll be straight and flush. Alright. Now I, and all I do is I put my piece in, which is three eighths, and then I draw a line on the back side here. And then come up here and draw me an angle. Okay. Now I want to make sure that I, I overcut this. All right, so I want to leave some space because I'm going to have to blend it in because it may not be as an, in a, at exactly that angle. I think it ends up being like 22 and a half or um, 32 and a half, something like that. Um, but anyway, so leave it long so that you can come back and trim it. And then all I'll do here is just glue it and then I'll put a nail there and there just to hold it on and then putty that and you'll never you'll never see it. All right, so let's do that. All right, now we got our Pac-Man all glued up and it's dry. Uh, we've got to go about installing the the bearing. Now what I do is, and I try to line mine up. To where this is lining up kind of in the center here so once I get that and I want to mark this thing right here and I just kind of can color it in do whatever you need to do just so you can get it and it's about three quarters of an inch then just drill the center point in this and this is about five eighths inches big to three quarter I'm just gonna start. I got my little hole there. And then I wanna go ahead and drill this through to the other side so I can flip it over so I don't get get it blown out on this side. All right, there's my hole. And then I'm just gonna drill down in. Drill into my 
plans. All right, guys. So uh, when I install these, I like to line mine up with the back side of the face frame, and then I'll just screw into there. So, um, and you have to put these things together. Now I got this cabinet installed because I was doing it by myself. So I was gonna. There's no way I was gonna wrestle this thing in by myself. Um, so anyway, the top one, I just line up even with my shelf since it's already set back, and I just edge band the front front of it like that thanks for watching make sure you like subscribe and we'll see you next week